Hi everyone, welcome to another video and a haul slash pickup. Uh, I have picked up two fragrances, uh, but in this video we're just going to go with the one. So the other one that I picked up, uh, I've had before, uh, but not for a long time. And it's Diesel Fuel for Life. Uh, it's a 125 mil. This one. I might do an unboxing uh, in another video, but I have had it before, so maybe I won't. I don't know. Uh, but today. One uh, a reasonably new release from Chico Boss, and uh, this one is Jeans. I said that really funny though, Jeans. Uh, <laughs> jeans by Hugo Boss. Don't know what it's like. I, I'm assuming it's, it's like a nice safe uh, fragrance called, you know, being called Jeans. It's going to be just casual, maybe citrusy, uh, summertimey maybe. Uh, release who knows so it says a fresh cotton feel so yeah fresh and clean fragrance to embrace your ultimate you <laughs> top notes uh, vibrant grapefruit some grapefruit at the top um, uh, heart notes invigorating peppermint oh I like peppermint or mint in any shape or form so mm, we'll see and base notes of warm sandalwood and that is it it says it on the back Right there. So uh, grapefruit, uh, mint, and sandalwood. Very basic. Let's get into it, shall we? So haven't bought a fragrance for a while. Uh, I'm sorry to do it. I've seen this one. Long time since I had a Hugo Boss, and it's it's a new sort of line. It is um, in the Hugo bottles, I do believe. Uh, so. Let's have a look, yeah, it's in the Hugo bottle. So, packaging. And Hugo. It's got a dark blue. And it's got it's, it's no jeans label on it. Um, there's no way that it says jeans, it's just the colour. So, obviously if you, if you know what the, the bottle looks like. But let's have a sniff, shall we? Uh, first impressions. Let's go. So, I think that should be enough for the first impressions, don't you? Um, right. In the air, yeah. Fresh, clean. Yeah, I get the um, the, uh, the the grapefruit's there. It's got more of like a sour tone um, than actual grapefruit. Is the, the peppermint. I would say is more dominant. Uh, the grapefruit in the backbone. Yeah, and it's got a slightly smooth woodiness right at the back, just supporting. It's like a supporting note at the moment. So, yeah, fresh uh, cotton like is actually true. It's got um, a fresh smoothness. So, you like a, you know, sometimes a lavender can be very, very um, smooth and light and refreshing. Uh, not a heavy lavender, but it's, it's got that kind of vibe to it. Yeah, it, it <laughs> would remind you of, um, let's say, your, your mum back in the days putting like a one of them like lavender sheets in the um, in the dryer, and then your, your clothes come in smelling like a fresh cotton. The kind of smell is in there. Um, the peppermint is there; it's freshened up. Mixing with this, it, I wouldn't say it was powdery, but it's got like a that kind of vibe. This freshness has got this vibe. It's a fresh cotton, uh, almost powdery side to it. Uh, the the grapefruit stops it going powdery, I think, um, and it bring takes that powderiness away. But you're getting that sort of freshness from like a like a talcum powder, but without the powder, if you know what I mean. So it's dying down relatively quick. It's a uh, Going yeah, a little bit of that uh, grapefruit is coming through. I say it's, it's not necessarily saying it's grapefruit. It's just got a um, like a tart citrus kind of vibe to it with a slightly woody backbone. I wouldn't necessarily say it was um, sand or woody. It hasn't got it's in like a creamy or overly smooth. 
I imagine the sander wood, the smooth sander wood's doing something with the top notes to make it as smooth as in like, the fresh linen smooth sort of thing. Overall, actually um, pretty nice. Um, I would say this is going to be a spring, spring into summer sort of release. Yeah, um, it's dying down quite quick. It could be just when I was getting used to it. But so anybody um, out there tried this? I thought I'd only get like the uh, I think it's a 75 mil. I don't want to be bottled in case I didn't like it or, or anything like that. Uh, I could give it a, a small bottle away. It didn't cost that much. Um, but in the air, yeah, nice fresh. You you would you would think somebody with a nice sort of white polo shirt, blue jeans, uh, white trainers sort of thing kind of look to to them to smell sort of fresh and clean like this. It really is quite a fresh, clean, just washed sort of smell. I mean, what did the box say? Oh, I've chucked it over there now. Um, yeah, like a fresh. It just smells like a fresh linen kind of smell. With a, with a bit of a, a sort of masculine wood just just to the, the back yeah, pushing it unique uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the combination um, I think is actually making it uh, relatively unique I've not smelled uh, anything that goes down this route yes fresh clean citrusy minty but um, the combination going down this fresh linen route is actually smelling quite nice in the air. We look forward to um, trying this out and giving a, a full review um, probably during the summer time uh, so I can test it out a bit uh, and it's uh, well I'm going to test it through the spring of course and then into the summer and then I will uh, get back to you but currently you know I haven't sprayed any there but it's, it's getting getting around me so yeah it's quite nice it's quite nice I actually Pretty, uh, pretty like that. So that's it. That's my uh, review. Well, so not review. That's my uh, first impressions uh, of Hugo uh, jeans. Uh, pretty good. I like it. So anybody out there has tried it, let me know in the comment section and let what you think. Um, it's not going to well uh, like niche heads or anything like that um, uh, or old schoolers, but uh, for a nice cheap freshie. It's actually pretty decent so if you like the video give me a thumbs up any comments leave in the comment section and if you um, like to just subscribe that would really help me out if you haven't already and uh, hopefully i'll see you again soon on the next video